welcome to my channel a channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy once again i want to welcome you to the channel my name is olodu konyedi and i'm your host we've been getting a lot of messages and those who have subscribed to us we say we appreciate you and those who are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button if you are gaining anything if you are benefiting anything from this channel please hit the like button hit the subscribe button so this week we've been having tons of subscribers asking us questions and we will be answering them today so please we want to bring to your notice if you are sending us any message messages please tell us where you are commenting from if it's from nigeria tell us your state and if it's outside nigeria please tell us the country you are calling or chatting us from so we have a question from Rooney, Rooney, Chi Shakwe, Rooney, Chi Shakwe. Uh, you didn't tell us where you are commenting from. Please tell us where you are commenting from. Your your question your 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 question is. Thank you for your insightful insightful videos. Can you group similar pad footing in proto detail? Can you do that? We we answer that you can't really group pad footing in proto structure or in proto detail. But what you can do, or what I will advise you to do, Rooney, is go to your um foundation layer let's assume i've done this before let me say what we can do is if you do this let's assume you do you are having you want them to be one okay you click square let's say you want them to be um 1.2 meter we say okay what you can do is this next one now let's assume we create this and it's giving us one meter and you know this is already 1.2 meter you click your square if you want a square then you increase you increase it to you increase it and you say okay you say okay so with that if you do this you tip you you typically group them in one by doing it manually but proto detail or proto structure does not automatically group the pad footing you have to do them manually by making sure they are of the same depth and the same this is one now let's say we we can make it two so this is how you keep doing it until you do everything or the other way you can do that delete the other way you can do that is if you do multiple right click and insert create typical footing for the selected column you say okay okay this is 1.3 you say okay okay so automatically automatically it provides that particular column so it just pick the the maximum pad 
and provide for others then if you click here right click insert create typical footing for selected column you say okay when you do this we are having 1.3 okay let's see whether we can reduce it let's see okay it can't it can't go down more than this but you can say okay okay and this becomes it and we'll click this typical yes this is giving us 1.5 we say okay so body the this is it so this is how we do it but the disadvantage of this is the columns that are even supposed to be 1 meter 1.2 meter it groups all as one and provide same provide same um, footing for them so with this you can group them like this but it's not too economical because if you do them one after the other maybe one is just only one will be the one that requires 1.3 uh, 1.3 meter by 1.3 meter but because you are grouping them as one it will take the maximum maximum load and divide and provide for all so this you can group them like this but is not too economical so if you see here now all these that we have 1.3 1.3 if you now delete let's assume we delete and we say okay and you provide for all you say yes it will provide the maximum for all it will provide the maximum for all you say okay so automatically everything becomes 1.5 1.5 which is not too economical at all okay or you choose to do them part by part like this you say yes and you are getting okay let's say we make it to 1.2 you say okay okay you see or you may choose to just follow what it provides you say provide you say okay provide this is one meter but preferably i don't like my footings to be one meter i prefer it to be 1.2 1.2 minimum for that's my own but i don't like providing one meter by one meter i feel is too small but let's just try it and we can also do this and provide you say okay okay 1.2 we, we are having 1.2 so this is how we can do it part by part or you do it singly so with this this is different ways that you can group your your pad or you may choose to alight or right click then you on you uncheck this create typical uncheck that you say <clears throat> okay so with with this it will provide one after the other at different um different sizes different sizes this is how it will provide for all of them but they will be provided for separately okay we have one 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 
this is 1.2 1.2 .1, .1, this is 1.1 this is 1.1 this is 1.1 1 1.3 1 1.2 we have 1.3 1 1.5 1 1.5 1.2 we have 1.3 1.5 1.2 1 1.21 and 1 two ways two ways that you can do you can either run it this way after you run it this way if you look here this is one meter one meters one meter here is 1.1 1.1 1.2 you can either group this all by deleting you delete you say okay then you rerun it now you 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 group it as typical you say yes provided we know that that is one meter we can say yes so it groups it as or four which is one meter here we know the maximum here is 1.2 we can group this delete delete uncheck your column you say yes then right click insert typical you say yes and we say calculate we say yes we say okay so all this becomes 1.2 when we come here the maximum is 1.3 1.3 we can either choose to group these two and group these two as 1.3 we can either choose to group this as 1.1 one this is this is 1.1 1 .1, this is 1 this is 1.3 and this is 1.2 we can either choose to group 1 to 3 as 1.2 leaving this at 1.3 so it's all about your choice or we can choose to group all as 1.3 so it all depends then this 1.5 we have this we can group this as 1.5 this is 1.3 1 1.5 1 or same thing you can either group all the one delete all the one as one group delete so first of all you do it one after the other you delete all where there is one 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 delete all delete all and highlight and deal with group all of them as one we can choose to do this one delete delete this is one delete this is let's say this all one so delete so we can either choose to group this hold down your your control key and add this and this right click insert and you create typical you say yes all of them typical you say yes and yes so automatically it groups this all as one so i hope this explains runi please if it explains your question please comment and tell us where where you are commenting from so that we know and if there's any other question please feel free to ask
and those who are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and that is the only way you are encouraging us to do more and with that you get notified when we put up another video until i come again remain blessed thank you